Memories stolen. Her mother's life lost. Gail Sirens finds new hope for Alzheimer's patients. Tonight, a quest for the cure. Alzheimer's disease. More than 5 million Americans are living with it. And chances are someone in your family has been touched by it. That is the case for retired News Channel 8 anchor Gail Searins. Gail is joining us tonight with a progress report on what's being done right here in the Bay Area to kind of help find a cure, or at least ease some of the pain for a lot of people. Yeah. Let me just say, first of all, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you again. Thank you. It's been it's about a year. It's good to be here you, by you're your doing side. Well. But Thank this is you. a very important topic. Something very close to my heart, too. As you know, two years ago, I lost my precious mother, Betty, after a 12 year battle with this mind and memory robbing disease. Until now, there has seemed to be little that could be done to slow the progress of this disease but that is changing and much of that work is going on right here in the Bay Area. Yes. How you doing on the medicine? Seems to be doing all right. Dr. Susan Steen is a neurologist and Nancy, just 66, is one of her Alzheimer's patients. In my time. Three years ago, Nancy developed early onset of the disease. With Kitty, her friend, caregiver, and drug study partner by her side, she is tackling the memory-robbing disease head on. She's determined to be 100% um, of whatever percent she's been left with. Nancy says dementia doesn't run in her family. It gallops. Her mother, her mother's sister, and her grandmother all had it. A school counselor, she noticed things just weren't like they used to be. And I was, you know, getting a little behind or confused or forgot to get to a certain classroom for a classroom meeting at a certain time. And, you know, just little things, not little, but that because that was part of my job. Her calm demeanor made it even more difficult to diagnose. She was very, very professional, and um, her demeanor is still that way. And that was why I think a lot of people, when she would go to her doctors and say this or this, I think they were initially maybe even fooled, maybe a little bit the, at the first. Test at the Mayo Clinic confirmed her fears. That she's two years, six months post-diagnosis and still functions at this incredibly high level. That's not surprising to Dr. Steen. She believes the drug study Nancy is part of is slowing down the speed of the symptoms because of the early detection. So what are the early warning signs? Dr. Steen says those of us over the age of 50 start losing memory. We may not be able to readily recall names of people we know or restaurants or even a movie we saw. But that's normal aging, not Alzheimer's. Do people get lost when they're driving? Do they repeat themselves? That's one of the major signs that we see in Alzheimer's disease because it's a problem with short-term memory. People don't remember that they've told you the story. Early onset comes on maybe a little more ferociously. Here at the USF Health Bird Center, its head, Dr. Dave Morgan, and his staff are on the cutting edge of stopping this disease in its tracks and hopefully one day curing it. He says we now know the buildup of amyloid in the brain, which causes Alzheimer's, can start building up up to 20 years before the onset of symptoms. Understanding this has really given us an opportunity to see who's at risk by using things like an amyloid PET scan and then mitigating that risk by treating with a drug that lowers the amyloid and hopefully prevents the disease from ever occurring. But as Dr. Morgan explains, finding people willing to come forward is a challenge. This is the real goal, is to reach the point where you'll be willing to find out you're at risk because there is a treatment that can lower that risk. And this is where we hope to be by 2020. Each instrument does different things. Morgan proudly shows off not only his scientist in the lab at work. We can measure their before and after. But the atmosphere the Institute has created for patients and their loved ones when they come there for diagnosis and treatment. So it really does take what could be a really long, hard process. With multiple people that you'd have to see, we can do it all here. One of the obstacles to a cure that can't be tackled is the loss of neurons and their connection with each other. Once that happens, the brain begins to atrophy, causing severe memory loss, and there's no turning back. It takes each one in, scans... But Morgan is optimistic what's coming down the pipeline is promising. There are presently 15 drugs in phase 3 clinical testing for Alzheimer's disease. The likelihood that one or more of these will be successful we think is very real. 
Both Dr. Steen and Dr. Morgan, both very, very involved in uh, the research side of what's going on. It's scary. It's a scary disease. So the hard part is getting the early detection because who wants to find that out? Right. And that's what these doctors and researchers are dealing with. We're afraid to find out. But now we know that by finding out early, there's a much better chance of, of really slowing down the progression, maybe even stopping it in its tracks. Mm -hmm. But I think it's very promising, and I think we have a lot to look forward to. It's very exciting. And that news. research costs money, and there's a lot of fundraising that's going on. I know you're involved in some I of that. I am. The walk is coming up at Amelie Arena on November 5th. Jen, you're going to be there as there. well. Yeah. And this is just, I have a team walking. You want to walk with my team? That's awesome. It's Team Baba. Baba, of course, what mom. my children called my mom, <laughs> what everybody called my mom. <laughs> and uh, so that's just one of the many walks all throughout the community and so take advantage of that and and help raise this really important funding because it is not one of the more well-funded diseases it's way down the list all right well it's good to see uh, you again good to hear it's this report good to be and this back encouraging with you news guys. but uh, boy you look great yeah. and so do you both and you're just she doing a great job the two of you it's like she never left it's like you've been on vacation <laughs> you know you used to have nice long vacations i don't know she looks like she's been on vacation she looks nice <laughs> and rested and happy yeah. and retired and it's nice good. to see you one year tomorrow one year tomorrow believe it. Uh, time flies. Well, Good to see you again. Take thanks. care. We'll see you soon. Okay. Saturday for dinner. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. <laughs>